So I have um, sponsored uh, two bills in the city council. Uh, one is uh, a reporting bill for all five district attorneys to let the city council know on all the hate crimes that occur throughout the city what the motives are. It's very important for us to learn if someone has a mental illness, if someone has hate in their blood, if some young adult did something stupid by scrolling a swastika who doesn't know what the swastika means, or if it's an organized group. We need to understand what these motives are, so I'm asking the district attorney through my bill to report these such uh, crimes and the motives of such crimes to the city council and to the legislators. This way we can better understand what new laws we need to put forward and also how to deal with this citywide. I have uh, proposed in the city council that's being drafted is um, to uh, the NYPD hate crimes unit to have a hate crimes prevention, crime prevention unit. We need to educate the public. We need to let the public know how severe a hate crime is, how it impacts the community, and what the repercussions are if a hate crime is done here in the city of New York and beyond. So it's very important to have a crime prevention unit that goes around to different schools, that goes around to community centers, that go around to senior centers, that go to civic associations, and basically their job should be crime prevention on hate crimes. And that is extremely important. So uh, today we all joined here um, and I'm calling on the NYPD who uh, has been doing a phenomenal job who deemed these two uh, cases assaults a hate crime. I'm asking them to increase patrols in areas that have had an influx of hate crimes in their communities. We need to make sure that New Yorkers are protected no matter what ethnic background you're from, no matter what culture you're from. We live here in New York City where we could practice and demonstrate who we are no matter what religion we're from. There was so much confusion. So first, uh, NYPD uh, deemed this a hate crime and then that hate crime was taken off. We need to understand what's going on. It cannot just be with one, two, three people. So we need to make sure that in the future, the district attorney, that information is disseminated because all, all 2.6 million Brooklynites and 8.6 million New Yorkers deserve answers, deserve information, what can be uh, disseminated uh, when a hate crime is done throughout our city. And this goes to all five district attorneys. I have a statement from City Council Speaker Corey Johnson. I was dismayed and outraged to learn about attacks against two Orthodox Jewish men in Brooklyn in recent days. And I was shocked when I saw the videotape of white nationalists beating people on the streets of Manhattan Friday night. And I'm discouraged that in 2018, we still need to worry about attacks like these happening to people because they're Jewish, because they're black, because they're Muslim, because they're Hispanic, or because they have different political views. We cannot allow incidents like these to become the new normal. We cannot accept bias attacks, and we cannot tolerate intolerance. We need to send the message loud and clear to people who engage in this behavior. Your hatred will not stand. It will not be allowed to take root here in the most proudly diverse city in the entire world, and it will be prosecuted. That's why I'm calling upon the Brooklyn DA to charge both crimes that happened in Brooklyn as hate crimes, and the NYPD to increase police presence in parts of the city where we've seen this hatred flare up. They don't follow any religion. They don't follow any religion. Again, I am saying they don't follow any religion. They just follow the path of evil. And that's why we have to stand united and show our support to every single victim in New York City. I request all of you to support Councilman, his ideas, because he is not talking on behalf of his religion, his religious people, but he's talking on behalf of all of us. Thank you all again. God bless you all. God bless, God bless America and the world. Thank you. Peace. And when we hear stories like the ones that occurred earlier this week and the ongoing rise in anti-Semitic incidents, it 
something that should be of concern to all of us, certainly to the Jewish community, certainly to the identifiably Jewish community, but really for all New Yorkers of all faiths, of all types of, uh, of, of, of attitudes and, and, and beliefs, whatever they may be. We have to be a society that thrives on our diversity. And this crime of hatred, when one person or one community is attacked, it's all community. When a Muslim is attacked, or a Jew is attacked, or an Afro-American is attacked, it's an attack on all of us as one people. So we're glad to be here with the councilmen and with all people, the Muslim society, the Iman, Rabbi Zubel, all the members of the police department, elected officials. God bless you. We have to keep fighting this battle and educate our future generation. Because only through education and through the process of education can we understand and lessen these crimes of race hatred. And I think that it's important that law enforcement officials um, do more investigations and have to measure repercussions for any act of anti-Semitism, including those on college campuses. We're seeing an increase in those today. This is a huge issue, and, and I really encourage everyone to, to fight for, for this. Thank you. We ask all people of good faith to join together in condemning these acts, and in working together to bring unity once again to our city. So I want to be there standing up, uh, whether it is anti-Semitism, uh, whether it is uh, racism, whether it's people like the Proud Boys. You can't hate neatly. And so the frustration I have is sometimes people come out only when it's happening to that community and not the other. Every community needs to come out when it's happening to a different community, whether you agree with that community or not.